Hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is day 16. Uh, oh, four square day, right? Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm. Where am I clicking? Okay, there we go. Uh, you can't see it, but the streak thing is working. 745 days in today's farm. is convert BST to greater tree. What is a greater tree? Given the root of a binary tree convert to greater such that every key of the original BST is changed to original, plus the sum of all the keys greater than the original key in BST. What does that mean? Man, that, that's a way long sentence. You know, it's one sentence. But basically, I guess f the four here is just sum of six plus five plus seven plus eight. So that's uh, 15 plus 11, 26, so 30. Okay. So it's just so. In a binary search tree, uh, if, you have, <laughs> if you're new to this, uh, is a tree where everything to the right is going to be bigger than the node, right? So that means it's just the sum of all the right nodes. Um, wait, is it? No. Well, I mean, that's true on the root level, right? And then now we have to think about oh, uh, all the things that are to the left of it. Hmm. I guess we have to update every node or to the right of it. Sorry, I said left. But um, so, so I think we have to do. Um, I think it's not so bad. We just we have to do um, reverse in order or something, right? What, what, is there a t term for that? Um, basically, you you just go up all the way to the right, and then basically almost do uh, essentially like a prefix sum. Um, or like a rowing sum, maybe that's a better way. I keep saying prefix something. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so hit the like button. Did I say that already? Hit the subscribe button. Join me on Discord, especially if you like these farms. Uh, but yeah, but oh, this is another problem. Hmm. Why did they? Okay, fine. But either way, um, so yeah, uh, I think that's pretty much it. So I think I'm just going to do pre uh, in order, but you know, in the opposite order, and then just kind of aggregate them. Um, I think the thing I'm trying to think is whether I can do it just purely recursive. Um, but eh, it should be okay. Let's see. So now we just say we have a node. We go uh, convert. We have node. And mm, I don't know if this is good enough. Let, we'll, we'll play around with this for now. Because um, I'm not going to lie. So one thing I would say is that if I was doing it on a on a competitive programming contest type thing, I would definitely do it. Um, I would do it with a global or or, or uh, a global e non-local variable, and then and kind of just keep going it that way. And it, um, and you can kind of prove the invariant that way. But I'm, I'm gonna try try for a second to see if I can do it another way. So let's see. So first we're gonna go all, all that way. Uh, total is equal. To, uh, okay. Maybe like that, total dot value, duh, 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 duh. Um, and then, yeah, right, and then maybe some, um, how do I see this? Uh, and because then total view, uh, it's a little bit awkward. So what I want to say is something like, uh, well, I mean, I'm just do doing a pre-order, right? Or post uh, in order, but backwards, like we said. Um, but then here, we want to pass down the current total. So this is current total that is, um, mm, I guess, just node value actually. You know, this is a little bit confusing, but node value now contains the new total. So that's what I was trying to do. Okay, let's write it this way. So it's a little bit queerer, but it's still maybe a little bit awkward. Um, and then here, we... Hmm. Let me think about this for a second. It is a little bit awkward. Because basically... Eh, maybe that's fine. Eh, the, the thing is that I'm, I'm... Like, let's say we have another, like, new total or something like that, right? Is that now we're double counting the total? I think, maybe. So, hmm. Maybe not. Maybe this is fine, actually. I think this is good. I think this is good. Okay. Um, and then maybe I just have something like this. And then now I can just add this. And then we do a convert of root. 
zero and then return root someone like that maybe um i have to play around with just to i because one thing that i was a little bit slow about and just confirming is um is just to make sure that i didn't double count something uh which is way easy to do right so yeah um hmm. oh before i wasn't i wasn't initially i wasn't trying to return a value so that's why this is return none and maybe that's why there's an issue but uh okay mm, okay so oh mm. Let's see. Definitely missing something here. Huh. Well, this will now return the total of the entire subtree. Okay. So, okay. Let's, let's trace this a little bit. Uh, or maybe even by tracing it, we can just do something even simpler. Um, mm, is this a good tree? I don't know. Nope. Uh, right. Someone like this right and then we can want it just to see that this is because i think I, maybe i don't set everything do i huh no uh, uh yeah see i don't set any uh everything so that's definitely a thing that's wrong why don't i set it okay so eight uh so seven so total of this thing is going to be eight right Hmm. Yeah, let's let's solve this. Wow, maybe I'm a little bit messy today. That's okay. Like I, honestly, like I said, if I did in competitive programming, I'll, I'll get this in about a minute just by using non-logo. To be honest, but but now I'm trying to upsolve myself a little bit by trying to be a little bit stateless. But we'll see uh, if this is a good idea. But okay, so here, okay, let's keep it simple. So we have this thing. So we're at the root, total is zero. We're here, we go to the right. So then now we're at node eight, the total is still zero. Uh, it goes to no total, this should be eight. And then it can, oh, whoops. Okay, I see. That's a little bit, uh, uh, hmm. Yeah, that at least solves these two problems. But we still have other issues because I think now this is double counting um because this is a little bit awkward i think um to be honest but it is just how i usually think about these things but yeah i think we have to convert it uh, a little bit with no dot left is none then we return total otherwise we return this because i think there are some weird cases where maybe hmm. okay uh still wrong i'm still double counting here with the 96 so hmm so maybe this is still weird maybe hmm. Hmm. i think this part is still a little bit awkward because i think my none cases are a little bit weird that's so let's let's uh yeah let's skip that a little bit or like let's make it more explicit if no that right is none what happens if no that right is none then nothing really happens total is, well we don't add total to the node because Total should be, no, I mean, maybe that's fine. What happens when no that right is none? No that right is none, then these things don't happen, right? All right. I know people keep on telling me to, whatever, but let's see. Right, if no that right is none, then we still want to add total, but we don't add this to the thing. Because this may be double counting, I'm not sure. Hmm. Let's give it a spin. Um, okay, now this is wrong again. So, why is that? Because no that right is not none. So shouldn't this go to no that right? And then, uh, oh no no, I got it right. I was looking at the inputs and sound output. Whoops. Um, but I'm still double counting. Okay, so that's what I thought. I don't think that I need this, but hmm, why am I double counting? How did I get ninety six? I don't know how to wish. Okay. Oh yeah. I, um, Wish there's a way to wish like oh I guess I can just do this. Yeah. Why do they make it so hard to copy and paste just one line? Okay, there it goes. I could put it here and then I could just use the tree visualizer, right? 
Oh no, that's the. Ex uh, I don't want to see that one. I want to see mine. Um, okay, so why is this 96? So this is actually, I mean, I'm just comparing it to this example here. And you can see that this is right up to 30, 33. And then this 65 thing is a little bit awkward. Hmm. The 65. Because I think we added 33 twice. Oh, because the to the inbound total includes all the stuff to the right. So then, okay. Huh. And I think here, what I want to do is maybe something like this, but then now total is equal to this instead. Mm, and then something. Yeah, maybe. Let's see. Let's give it a spin. It's kind of tricky, actually. Oh, wait, what? To have a bad input. Oh, this is not a good actual case. That it, it's not a binary search tree. Uh, this is also not a binary search tree. It's just an answer that I was trying to visualize. Okay. Okay, so that looks good now. Uh, I think I was double counting here because, yeah. Um, and I think as we saw, I can actually maybe remove this because now it's not necessary. Let's try it again before we submit. Okay, so that looks good. <sighs> to be honest, I'm not going to lie. This, <laughs> this looks awkward as heck. Um, hella, hella awkward, but okay. Let's mm, let's at least try to do something that is, uh, you know, just only the left. So let's see. So that should be six and one or whatever. Um, so let's see if that's right first. Okay, so that's right. So I'm a little or five. And, uh, I said it wrong, but oh, right, let's give it a submit. Huh, I got it. Oh, well, I probably did it the easy way last time. To be honest, seven forty six. Nice. Um, so yeah, so this can be worked out even if it uh, took me 10 minutes longer than I would have. Uh, you, if I have to guess, I probably just did the non-local trick last time. Or, wow, I didn't. Hmm. Past Larry is maybe just smarter than I am now on this particular problem. I did say that I was doing, uh, this looks like I am doing in order backwards again. Um, but maybe I just had some weird, I mean, I had this case. So I think, hmm. So I think having here, maybe I just didn't say it right. Okay, so right sum is equal to, you know, yeah, I think the I, I think what happened was that I was trying, maybe I was trying too hard to understand. No, I mean, I feel like this is, what is current? Oh, um, I guess having, I think what I was trying to do a little bit, and this is where the confusion is, um, and this is actually contributed to the, the, the code not being as readable as I would like, is that I shadow total a little bit uh, in reusing it. And I think that was some of the confusion in how I kind of um, muck it up. Uh, and here, I think having the incoming value allow you to have a query with dot, because now I can separate in my head what each item mean um and that was it um and i also yeah and i think i also like did some weird thing where um yeah and i think i did some weird thing where he, here instead of adding no i don't know how this makes sense hmm. Oh, I guess this one, actually, I, I think I would confuse myself a little bit with co playing with the left side a little bit. Um, I think now that I see it here, I think th these, to be honest, I think these are two different recurrences, even though they look very similar. Um, and I think that's why, because I think this one has a totally different logic um, with respect to this just get all the, the subtrees, where here, I actually don't get, um, I mean, maybe it, it end up being that way that... Um, I do, but this conversion is a little bit awkward because because basically this this code gets the sum of all the nodes while you, which is what it said. Um, while here it doesn't actually only get the sum. Of, this function does more than that, which is why it's a little bit harder to reason. Um, this and this also speaks to try to keep things simple and build from good easy components. Um, because this one, the total this this return value is actually return. Uh, every number that is, or the sum of all numbers that are smaller than the current node. Um, and I think that's, 
just a little bit it's a harder component to play with as you can see because i kind of ran into issues here but yeah cool uh that's all i have for this one uh and you can even saw it solve two different ways kind of so you know and both recursive and both doesn't use uh non-local things so yeah um cool uh just to kind of be clear this is going to be o of n times because you have to look at every node at least once and it's going to be o of h space because of uh the depth of the tree as or the height of the tree as the um the space recursion core stack space uh cool that's all I have. Uh, have a great weekend. Hope taxes and stuff do you well because uh, it's uh, very expensive taxes in the moment. But yeah, stay good. Stay healthy. Take good mental health. I'll see you later. I forgot to set this at the beginning of the hour. Uh, so yeah, happy Passover for people uh, celebrating Passover and um, happy Easter weekend for those celebrating Easter weekend. Also happy Thai New Year. Uh, I, I, I I knew it, but I forgot to say it the last couple of days. So anyway, all of y'all are celebrating, and if you're celebrating something else, let me know in the comments below, and I'll give you a shout-out as well. Uh, I'll see you later. Stay good, stay healthy, take good mental health. Bye-bye.